Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to Quilt Along number 23 on the Free Motion Quilting Project. This week we're going to go back to learning new designs, and this week in particular we're learning a design called Bare Branches. And it's basically kind of a base to a lot of other designs, and it also works in a very interesting way. So I hope you enjoy playing with this in Free Motion. Get started with this design, simply stitch a straight line, then travel stitch back, then branch out in another direction with another straight line. Now let's hear this design so that way you get an idea of how fast my machine is going at any given time. Already you should have been able to pick up just how much my speed of my machine is changing as I'm stitching this design. When I'm sending out a straight line, of course I can move a lot faster in those sections, so my machine speeds up. When I'm travel stitching back halfway through the line and uh, getting from one area to another, then of course I'm going to slow down considerably in order to maintain more control over the stitches and make sure that they're all stitching right where I want them to go and right on top of that line. Of course, you can stitch uh, kind of some practice rows any way you want and really in any arrangement. I just kind of pick some different shapes, um, branch-like shapes and repeated elements continually throughout the row. And you can find uh, graphic designs, just drawings of the shapes that I was stitching on the Freemotion Quilting Project. That's at freemotionproject.com. And they will give you kind of an idea of different ideas to stitch and practice. Of course, the true, in my opinion, the true nature of bare branches would be a totally random design, a design that isn't stitched in a single row. Then instead, all of your branches are kind of uh, jutting out and branching out in all different directions. And the one real key to this design is travel stitching, of course. And you'll need to be using a thread that can take a lot of travel stitching. I'm using Isocord polyester embroidery thread. It's very thin, it's very strong, and it can be travel stitched five or six times without shredding. And that's what you're looking for in a good thread for free motion quilting. Now let's finish up with a row of totally random bare branches. And just like before, I'm simply branching out with a straight line and travel stitching back. 
Occasionally you're going to have to do an enormous amount of travel stitching. If you get stuck or trapped into a certain area or you want to wiggle your way back around to another spot, you have to do a lot of travel stitching. And the travel stitching itself creates a lot of thread play for this design. It means that certain areas of the design are going to be darker than others because there's two or three threads over that space. Now this might not seem like a very big deal and uh, to some people it probably wouldn't matter at all but it's something I definitely pay attention to with quilting because when you have an area of travel stitching it makes that area darker, it makes it appear uh, more bold. Think of it, yeah, think of it like bolding uh, a typeface uh, and that's exactly what it's doing and so whenever you stitch this uh, this design, bare branches versus stippling, bare branches is going to appear like a bold font versus stippling which is going to appear like just regular typeface. So it's something to definitely pay attention to. Now notice how I'm stitching right now. I worked my way all the way up into that area and I kind of got a little stuck. And so I just simply travel stitched my way all the way back down just stitching on all of those branches to get down and start filling down here. Uh, and that's something that you can absolutely do. You will never get trapped in this design because you can always travel your stitch your way back out again. So now let's hear this last section and uh, get an idea of the different speeds whenever you're stitching very available. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you'll get on your sewing machine and give Bare Branches a try. It's definitely a design that's going to challenge you to learn travel stitching and incorporate it into a filler, which is a lot more challenging. So have fun with it and definitely link up your blog post and any progress you had with making a quilt tag or finishing up your modern quilt project. So until next time, let's go quilt. Are you looking for even more fun free motion quilting designs to play with? If so, definitely check out 365 free motion quilting designs. This is the largest collection of free motion quilting designs ever compiled. And you can find this at freemotionquilt.com.